Hi friends, so I am back today to finish up our top 10 essential oils. Um, so I think I, I'm kind of unsure how, how I like the format of these um, videos. I see the value in doing little quickies so that so that way you can just plug in and see what you're interested in. So anyways, so um, the next essential oil I want to talk about is the Melicaluca. And Melicaluca is great for skin, scalp, and nails. And so I personally use this. Um, I've shared before how I have um, scalp eczema or psoriasis. I don't know what the difference is, but it's dreadful. Anyways, I get little spots. And so I will put the Melicaluca right on those spots and it helps so much. Um, I do have a prescription that does the same thing, but it gives me a headache. So the uh, Melicaluca definitely is a much kinder, gentler way to treat those um, nastiness on my head. And then my pillow smells nice. And then my hair is nice. So um, I do like the Melicaluca. So that's how I use it. And also um, the allergy balm, which is the lemon, lavender, peppermint. My mentor suggested adding in Melicaluca as well. Um, and so I've been doing that. So I drink, um, because you can drink your essential oils, but you want to use a glass or metal water bottle. And so I'll do like 10 drops of lemon and then two of lavender, two of peppermint, and then two of melcaluca. It does like I'm, tastes like I'm drinking a tree. But that's what I do. Um, okay, it's really good for removing mold and mildew. So what you'd want to do is get two teaspoons, just a fair amount, um, with two cups of water to make a spray. Um, also, what's super nice about Melicaluca, and I honestly have not tried it yet myself, but if you have an earache, so I'm talking about like not where you want to put a pencil through your ear or your child is crying, you know, uncontrollably, but like you have an earache, because I've talked about this before. Essential oils are awesome. I love them, but let's not be scared of modern medicine, Okay. I'm just making a disclaimer here. So it's great at treating symptoms, but it's not necessarily going to cure things. Um, so anyways, if you have an earache, what you want to do is get some Melicaluca and you want to put it on the outside of your ear and then get a cotton ball and put a couple of drops on the cotton ball and then put the cotton ball in your ear. You don't want to just put a whole bunch of drops of any type of oil of anything in your ear. Okay. So, um, see, that's from replacing your medicine cabinet with essential oils. Um, the next thing is, is adding, um, some drops of oil to your shampoo to help with dandruff. Also, it's really good for tick removal. So my friends who have ticks, um, if you, Gracie's home from school, <laughs> um, you can use Melicaluca, um, the eczema, I'll talk about that. And actually what I should do is use a fractionated coconut oil in addition to the Melicaluca, and then that way it probably would spread a little bit more. Um, it also helps with acne. So that's what I got with the Melicaluca. So it is an aromatic, it is topical, it's neat, meaning you don't need to use a carrier oil, and it's also internal. All right, see you later.